three. Three, okay. two, one. Hey, Chris, how are you? Hey, Rob, lovely to hear your voice again. It sounds like it's coming from the ether somewhere. Beautiful. <laughs> Still live? We're live. Everything's, rec We're live. everything's We're recording on my end. Shit. Well, I, I, I'm hoping we've been successful. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm trying to drag stuff across my screen so I look professional. Um, it's, um, yeah, everything's here too. I've changed location, um, as, the, uh, as the viewers will see. Um, I've moved to uh, Malmo in, uh, in Europe nice. to, uh, to make nice. this. Yeah, yeah, well, I just thought I'd do something a bit sparkly. That's well, something. I have my office door open to listen to the babies in case anybody needs okay. my attention. So it could, you could, you could, you might have to go. Well, I might have to close run. the door. <laughs> so I don't okay. hear. Yeah. Well, yeah. My baby, my babies are quite close. So if they do, well, you'll hear, you'll hear, you'll hear Lou for sure. He's like, it's like somebody's, somebody's cut his leg off, but hopefully it won't happen. So what's your first story? My first story is, and hopefully you can see this in the sky. No, 50. Yeah. You can see it on the screen. Um, it's a, uh, it's a guardian picture essay. Come on. Yeah, it's a story, of course, a story. Um, and it's uh, called Masks, Meals and Skype, self, uh, self Isolating in Sicily, a photo essay. Okay. And it's by Alessio Mamo. Um, and he talks about, he's a WordPress um, photo winning journalist. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really, really nice. I'll yeah, just skip through, give, the, give everybody quite a bit of a look. Well, I'll put a link, obviously, for this. But it's um, really beautiful. I'm not sure how many photographs Where are. is he in Italy? 15, 10. He is in Sicily, um, so he's, he, he essentially has travelled all over the world doing the Kurdish stuff, the you know the Middle East, um, all the all, all the big stories, mm -hmm. um, and and he it, the kind of the essence of the whole thing. It's all black and white, Great. beautifully shot, Good. Um, and it's um, you know kind of the titles are photographing empty streets in the window, um, the street where they see old mortal live, pictured at sunset. So basically, it's, it's him and his him and his better half. Um, and the, the essence is that he didn't think that the biggest story to happen in his lifetime, probably, um, he would photograph it from the from his own place. Cool. You know what I mean, so it's, yeah, so it's kind of that. You're, it's yeah, it's, it's all the stuff we're feeling, I suppose. Um, but beautifully photographed. It's kind of you know very simple. Him and his better half. How of many? Us. How many photos are there? But I think it's probably. One, let me see, one, two, three, Rough, four, five, roughly. six, seven, eight, yeah, 10, then 12, 14, 14, 15, 16, 16. So a per perfect amount. Um, but it's just, it's, it's just a nice read. You know, every, every day Marta does sodium bicarbonate inhalation covered by a towel to cure her respiratory tract. Um, but the photographs are, you'll like them right up your street, black and white, tack sharp. Nice. Um, nice. Um, the opposite of what I'm going to, I'm going to chat, chat about after this, but it's a, a, a picture essay of the Guardian, and it's third Friday the third of uh, third third of April, so it's not brand new, um, but it's new to me, and it's worth it's worth having a look at for anybody who's thinking of documenting um, their journey, yeah. um, their present yeah, journey, because yeah, their present journey, yeah, you know, because what way what way do we do it? You know what I mean? And it's um, everybody will be doing. Similar work, I imagine. This is just a nice, it's a nice heads up to see it from a guy who's covered conflict and he's covering uh, that kind of conflict in his own yeah. house. She, she's, she, she's, she's got, uh, this better half's got COVID. Uh, Marta, his partner, has been tested for, uh, for COVID-19 and um, this is him, his take on it. So he's, he's living with the, the beast in wow. a sense. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, it's lovely. It's really cool. New, yeah, Can't wait to look really, at it. Yeah, it's nice. I'll send, I'll send a link um, if, I haven't, if I haven't read one. So, um, and um, what's your story, Rob? Oh, you, you're something nice, I would say. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a oh. slim week this week. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's been three, three wow. slim weeks, yeah, hasn't man. it? Everybody's at home, not doing anything, so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, my story is, it's really exciting. I'm on the edge of my seat. It's a new color checker. Sure. I don't know if you use a color checker or not, but there's a new one coming well, out on the market. How much? Don't know yet. But the big difference, the oh. big difference is instead of it being 24 or even okay. 
I mean, the best one out now, right now, is 140. This chart okay. has yeah. 999. That's just showing off. Well, I mean, it is and it isn't. The, the fact that you have 999 different representations of colors will be yeah. that much finer than anything that has 24 or 140. So it's exponentially mm. better, you know, just on that alone. You know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below, but there's a story on Jeez. Luminous Landscape about it. And it's really, really interesting. Mm. If you're technical at all, if you're ever looking for that perfect accurate color in your photographs and this is really the way to do it you know how you know i'm technical you don't have to ask me how technical, <laughs> how technical are you but i'm <laughs> so te i'm so I, I, if i could spell it i'd be a happy chap that's all i can say um i know it's tec something and those an h and an n somewhere along that mix so the, the only nine, downside nine, on nine, this okay. is you know the fact that it, it it's it's a new chart and it's got new technology, new ideas, new theories behind it, new color theories. It only works with two different software right now. Uh, okay. Basic Color and Luma River. No, but you, but you, is this one? Did you, you downloaded something recently? Is that it? No, no, no. This, is that it? No, this, no, this okay. I mean, this is really, really pretty new. I mean, okay. It'll be interesting to see what x ray does in response to this, because this yeah. even even if if it is only supported by two different types of software, there's going to be museums yeah. and repro houses and stuff that are gonna yeah, that are just going to use it just because it's that much more detailed, and yeah. it's got it runs sure. on a wider gamut too, like there's a wider potential gamut supposedly or something, to, you know so. Okay. Do you do you think um, it'll make a big difference to day to day stuff for for the likes um, of you? Or you? I think it, or I mean, you? I think it potentially could. I think it definitely could. Yeah, I mean, okay. just just trying to match up colors and stuff, you know, from okay. subject so from subject to image, and then potentially out to printed or or display. You know, it's. Yeah. I think it's just going to be a new s color workflow potentially. So let me give you let me give you the scenario. Somebody somebody's away doing great work. They've done a brilliant job beforehand, and they pass the job on to you, and it's very specifically lit, very specifically. Well, you need you need to photograph there. the color checker in the environment that you're yeah. shooting as well. Okay. I mean that's okay. a, a granted. I wish I I wish I'd had that um, a while back. Why is that? Well, just somebody gave me a really nice job that I had to do color matching for, and it was just difficult. You don't have a passport, do you? Color passport? No. Definitely. I mean, it's. I mean, that's a cheap investment. E even the old color yeah. checkers. I mean, I've got one or two color checkers here still that are in decent condition. They're they're okay to use, but I mean, the passport, yeah. the color checker X right passport is just great, and it's mm. it folds up on itself. It's a little plastic wallet. You just throw it in your camera bag, and when you get a chance, you just hold it in front of the camera in the same lighting scenario as that that you want to, you know, take your photograph well, in. You, you've won the studio, do you know? You I keep one. I keep one in my camera studio. bag. Yeah. See, this is how technical I am. Um, I uh, what I would do is I'd find maybe a nice lolly cover. You know, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Like I'll tell you what's actually. I'm just thinking would be really good. You know those long icicle pops you get. You get them and they're they're not frozen, but you put them in the freezer and they freeze. Oh yeah. You know, there's a good gam there's a really good gamut of colors in those. You know, if you were stuck, for instance. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think it worked the oh, same Jesus. way, but I get your gift. Yeah, yeah, never let your child become a fine artist. It just never works out for the best. My second exciting Mind story you. Okay, go ahead. Is Tamron have a new lens. Oh, we got like new lenses. It's a 70 to 180, so it's oh, just 20, 20 millimeters short of a 200, of sort of the standard mm -hmm. range. But the fact that they make it made it a 70 to 180 has made the lens mm -hmm. physically so much smaller than all the competition. Right. Okay, I was going to say that's clearly the reason why they've, they've yeah, dropped short, yeah. isn't it? And it's a, it's okay. a 2.8. 
It's worth 1200 American dollars. I don't know the price yet in pounds, but it okay. is 5.9 inches. No, I wouldn't know what that is. <laughs> and, and 28 ounces. So it's really small. Gee, I, know what that, I, know, I, I know what 28 ounces is. I shouldn't, I shouldn't joke. I shouldn't be sexist or um, in any way smart with these comments. Um, that is, that's actually, that's actually yeah, really nice. Really tiny. I, you know, obviously it's just been uh, released. The news has been released, so who knows how sharp it is or anything. But judging, judging from their last thing, what was it, the 20, 24 to 75 or whatever, was supposed to be a really sharp, yeah. amazing little lens. Did you not used to be the Tamron guy in California years ago? Uh, Were you? I was a big Tamron guy in a past life in yeah, the old yeah, Adapt yeah, All yeah. days yeah. when they did the Adapt All yeah, things. Yeah. yeah. So you could get a 3028 for two or three grand from Tamron, and the thing was just amazing. Yeah. It was so sharp. Yeah. And they made, they, I mean, Tamron's 90 millimeter macro is, is crazy yeah. sharp. It's a great lens, or was a great lens. Much. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, that, this is back in the eighties and nineties. It was it was an amazing lens. Can, can we stick those? Can we stick those on the? Can we stick those in the? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be getting. We need to be getting people to shift disease and doing stuff. Stuff. Ninety mil. But seventy to seventy to one eighty. Do you say seventy yeah. to one eighty? Hmm. That's nice. It sounds nice. But light? Light and short and small. So, I mean, you know, to get to be discreet, like to get into like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, spaces yeah. to do something, you know, what, 180 millimeters? It's, uh, that's pretty cool. Well, for that price, it's not yeah. bad. What's your, what's your story? Your what's your next story? Well, it's just, I was just, I was just going to say it's only, it's only one shack I can code for. I don't want <laughs> to keep bringing it up, but. Where's my coat? <laughs> I'm gonna keep we, bringing it up into until summer. The, yeah, you know what? This is the thing. Their sales are gonna drop. Okay, they're gonna drop down. They need you to boost them up for this. Well, just think of this, Rob. Think of me. Think of the hilarity of the whole thing, right? I'm, I, I'm getting fatter and fatter. I'm, I'm drinking and eating biscuits in isolation. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I had that coat, the hilarity of me wearing it because I would love it so much in the summer. It's kind of going to make me sweat. I'm going to lose weight. It's going to be really. I'll maybe do a work mm -hmm. in it. But anyway, Shaco, they're, Shaco, they're missing a trick by not uh, by not 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 contacting me as yet. Uh, but I'll send them a thing. Okay, my next one. I'm going to go left. If I go left, I don't know what it is. I'm going to go right. Okay, now I have a, a story. Um, but first of all, I came across this story in. Uh, a photo, a photo museum um, in good old uh, FOMU photo museum. Okay, okay? Um, I kind of go to it every uh, every every couple of weeks. See the crack is, um, and it's Stephen Van Fletteren or Van Fletteren. I'm pretty bad as well. Everyone knows how bad I'm pronouncing this. I'm not even going to pretend anymore. Um, but it's on the screen, and there'll be a link down beneath. Um, so I came across the work um, there, and it um, basically was saying the ex exhibition is not on. And I went on to his own site, and I find well, everyone's Corona is not for me at the minute. I'm just I'm just very interested in how people are representing stuff. Um, so this is um, Stephen's uh, Corona Walk text and photography. And okay. where is he? Where so, is he located? Uh, Sorry, he is. I imagine he's in. in I imagine. Good God, you've thrown me there. I imagine he's in Holland, I think. So he's got photographs of Holland during the mm. Well you wouldn't you wouldn't know you wouldn't I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one up now on the screen and let me see if I can. Let's see. Present where are we? Can I get them up? I can't get up here, hold on two seconds, Rob. I'm turning sideways, which I'm reluctant to do because I'm such a big lump um at the minute. Um so there's an example of uh, two sets of his work, and um, basically it's uh, spring is budding. Last week I saw the first bumblebee. The day before yesterday, butterfly. Today a purple dead nettle in the dunes. Clouds floated on. Da 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 da. da. Um, and it's called Corona Walks, March two thousand twenty. It's very different from our last uh, guy that I was mm -hmm. looking at um, because it's um, 
it's not. It's a very fine art approach. So you know, uh, seascapes, uh, footprints and sand. There's nothing sharp. Keyboards kind of half lit, um, but it's beautiful. It's really, really, really nice, and it's worth. Um, it's really worth having a look at. Now, I'm not going to keep banging on about the Corona thing because I think that we could talk about it too much. I probably talked about it a couple of weeks, but I am. I'm genuinely fascinated about how we are going to. You know, there's going to be. A kind of a huge, you know, a huge, if it were a tree and they chopped us down and looked at the rings, you know, there's going to be a, a, a huge body of work being made um, by lots of, lots of journalists, artists, everyone mm-hmm. else. And I'm kind of, I'm fascinated with how that is, you know, the breadth of the work that's coming out. You know, so I'm, I'm reading stuff, you know, obviously writers are doing, you know, poets, um, fine artists, journalists. I just think, uh, for me, I, I'm very interested how it's been played out. Um, you know, and this is this is gallery stuff, so it's worth having a look at. You know, it's different than than our last than our last participant, and I think it's um, it's you know kind of it, it is for me. It's fine art. Eh? Well, it's fine art. Mm-hmm. My notary's really trick, um, but it's uh, it tickles me. It feels kind of there's a, a sense of Jap- well for me there's a sense of Japanese photography too but it's you know to, um, to the sea dunes and forests always at nightfall you know what I mean so that gives you kind of an idea hmm. have you looked at it no no no, 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 no. Well, yeah. looking well, forward no. to it yeah yeah it's a kind of a it talks about fantasizing and you know magnus mag, mag, magnified versus the, the tops of broken trees that's right about your street <laughs> broken trees yeah yeah I imagine I imagine you probably have a quill in your hand right now. You're licking the tip of the quill and you're writing stuff down. I could be wrong, of course. No. <laughs> and I, ha- I have to say, I'm always surprised whenever these, whenever you put these together and I watch them, um, that how you and I are both neither looking at camera. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> a- yeah. Really? Don't say yeah. that wrong. Yeah. Really? Mm. God. Now, let's talk. You, I won't go on. I'll, you, go ahead. Give me your next one. Well, my last thing. I mean, we've been talking about funding and stuff that's going on right now uh, because of this pandemic and how photographers and, and support staff, support people are, are dealing with it. And, you know, in the States, they're doing a big um, art for an assistance thing there's a big art yeah. for assistance yeah, push a couple of yeah it's yeah, quite it's quite good, interesting yeah. and you know people yeah. are trying to get you know money circulating amongst people who might not have much um yeah. and we've been talking about the different things that are happening in the united kingdom in regards to funding and stuff yeah. well i'll down below i'll have a link in the description on an article in rangefinder magazine that lists out all the stuff for any of our American listeners. Uh, so all the different government programs that you can take advantage of being a photographer in the United okay. States. Because the, the United States, as we know, has been particularly... Um, Difficult? Yeah. yeah you know, France and New York are kind of tight, for yeah. sure. I think it's much tighter than... Well, it's much now, crazier. It's much crazier. Was, Do you find, Rob... Go I'm ahead, sorry. go ahead. I'm just going to say that, you know, Lee and I have been saying that it's been, it's kind of bizarre. You know, I had not, not, not the, well, just, you know, as, an, as, as, an, as somebody who's used to making work and, you know, as, as I said last week, I de- you desperately miss it, but we've kind of settled into a new normal. You Is know, it? You have? Well, well, we've settled in a sense. I would say we've got a routine, which I wouldn't, you know, it's not, it's not, it's certainly not my... It's certainly not my route, my yeah. routine. I don't know, you know, you know. We're looking at this for the next twelve weeks, so we had the we've kind of fit it naturally into it. You know, Lee is an artist as well, so we're kind of we're we're doing our best at this. But what I find really interesting is that, you know, I don't we don't we're probably quite disjointed from the whole thing. We don't feel as though it's you know we haven't lost anybody as, as yet. Touch wood, um, desperately close to us. So as, you know, we're we're kind of living in this strange bubble where we're eating okay, we're exercising okay, um, we're m- I'm making some work, um, but it doesn't seem like, and then, and then I've stopped watching the news. Good. Um, yeah, good, and then whenever you do, you know, that, but what ha- good, but then what happens, 
John Prime dies. You don't find out two days later, and then you're, I feel bereft. And, uh, now this isn't, I actually thought about this, Rob, I'm not going to hang on about it, but the, the consequences of, of dear old John is that, um, I don't know how you work whenever you're, whenever you're processing or editing your work, I'm flat out Spotify, so I'm just, um, I work to music. And I do stuff that's, you know, if I'm doing stuff that's slow, I, I listen to the, the slow music. And so I have this kind of way of working where I stick stuff on that kind of suits my mood to work. Um, John Prime and I were dear friends with regards to work. I listened to him every single day for years. Mm-hmm. Didn't listen to the news. What happens? He goes and dies. But would it have year, made a yeah, difference if you had known? Well, I don't know. Maybe I would have marked. I feel as though I would have marked it slightly. It's not crazy. I feel as though I would have slightly differently. Um, but anyway, there we go. No news. Um, it kind of cut myself off on the outside. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I, I get the odd message from London or New York or LA um, with what's happened, and I'm just. I think they're having things much, obviously, much tighter than I'm having. It. And, and dear old Sonny Blanger, you know. Sorry, that was a ramble. That's okay. What's your next That's one? It. That's it for yeah. me. <laughs> That you've, oh, good God, down to me. Well, let's we see what we have I've got. Two minutes um, left, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this right down. Um, uh, so this is, <laughs> this is TOY, okay, which is uh, Times of India. You see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Well? You're going around the world, are you? See what I'm doing? I'm going around the world because there are, there are some things happening. Um, and this is uh, TOY. <laughs> it is, if you're loitering, the headline, if you're loitering around your neighborhood with friends during lockdown, don't be surprised to discover a drone hovering over you. So basically, India, in India, in certain areas, uh, the police have uh, asked drone enthusiasts and photographers uh, to uh, partake of some surveillance. Wow. Um, yeah, wow, indeed. Um, it happened in China, apparently. I don't know. China is, yeah, I think they're China doing it in Spain, too. They're doing it in Spain. So we, have, we now have this, uh, this third eye going on, um, which I think is... Uh, you know, again, I'm just thinking of this from a from a from a from a, from a, from a documentation um, aspect. You know, we have these um, you know these these beautiful overhead images. Um, you know, there'll be books coming out in, in a couple of months or six months or a year. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, with these kind of this kind of Google Street View image of the whole thing. So I think I think I think that I think that's interesting that um, that they that they've done that. They've asked people to, 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 to join into the. The, the big brother <laughs> and they're willing what do you see yeah. are they just are something they just, to do yeah. I get to I get to fly Some, my drone I get, I get to go outside well uh, you can be outside in your wrong? yard you're not going to be outside much past that I sure, I'm sure they're not going to allow you just to walk out into the street with your drone it'll no, just be your neighborhood so. cool. yeah so you're just you're flying out of a buggy keeping an eye on Squid in your ear. Well, somebody said, I don't know what it was you said, you know, years ago it would have been if you were telling tales on somebody, you know, you know, it was because they were a fascist or they were, yeah. you know, they were, they were, they were doing something. Now, now it's if you go to ask the twice, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or if you're, or if you're, you're out, you're out your morning exercise, um, longer than the half an hour, yeah. you know. Stop to talk to um, the postman. But, uh, well, you know, Rob, I guess we're, Lee and I, Rob, we're up, at, we're up at five with the wee fella. You know, we're out the door by, you know, half six, seven. Um, we, we go out really early, which I don't know, if, you know, I feel as though I feel irresponsible in the sense, but, you know, two kids, stir crazy, we go out, we go out early, we don't go near anybody, you know, we went up to the beach today and it was a like fucking summer's day. You know, there were so many people, dog walkers. Got to get off the beach, standing, man, fuck, you're not supposed to be out there, standing, people. No, no. Well, listen, we're we're you know we're hugging the shoreline. We're mm. we're we're out. We're you know we're big. Well, I know I know you you don't agree with this. We're out. And we're walking along. You know, and what you're doing is you're now. I could take photographs that would lie. I could take photographs that would show people standing two foot apart. And of course, there's they are standing two meters apart. But it's anyway, anyway. There you go. It'll not happen in a week. No. The, 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 the only sure. listen, all, our time's up. But this is the last thing I want to okay. say: is the only way that this is ever going to like subside. This, the only way it's going to slow yeah. down is if people stay in their yards. You, you got to stay no, in I your agree, yard. Agree, you got to okay. stay in your yard. You yeah. can't go for a walk around the block. You can't hop in the car and take a hike. You can't. You can't do any of that yeah. stuff. You can't. You just have to yeah. sit still. 
You have to sit still. You have to. That's the only way this is going to work is if we all sit still. When some, when, when one person out of that 100 goes off and does something else and they come back within to their, into their environment, they're going to contaminate somebody else. You have to sit still. Rob, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a collage, right? And it's going to be you. Okay. It's going to be you hovering <laughs> three foot above the beach in Laguna. Okay. That's, that's just in my head. Cause I think you're just right. Well, Chris, it's been great. All you. right, man. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Well, hopefully. Do you think we, we could will. actually... Could we? Could we, Rob? Could we meet no. up? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> FaceTime. FaceTime. Okay, face you can't time. buy a webcam face anywhere time. in the country. They're all sold out. Shut so, up. FaceTime on your phone. We'll see you next week, Chris. See all right, you, bye. Okay, bye-bye.